it is officially June 1st, and you know what that means. Swipe the card, another first of the month. What's up, everybody? It's Friso from Stud City, and today's video, we're gonna be doing a small little recap of June 1st, because honestly, there's a lot that's happened, there's a lot to discuss, and I'm kinda concerned with some of the uh, outlook of LEGO. But anyways, if that interests you, stick around, subscribe if you're new, and let's jump straight on into it. So don't get me wrong, there's a ton of new LEGO sets that released starting today. I know we were live here on the channel at the midnight hour, but here we are a few hours later. Not really anything has sold out from the North America side. I know in other countries and other regions, there's been some sellout sets, back orders, or, you know, promos that have been running out. And that's all interesting stuff and something to talk about, because if you're watching this video, it might still be early to, you know, get some of these before they are gone. So without further ado, let's jump straight on into it. So so first thing is first, we always like to talk about the LEGO promotional items. And currently, the LEGO has three promos that are out on the market. One is the water park promo, which has been extended. This is not brand new. It didn't start on the first of the month. It actually started at the end of May, I think in like 24th or something like that. Uh, anyways, it's going to be extended all the way until June 7th. So an entire week extra. But anyways, it's just a nice a little promotional item that will get thrown in if you're buying LEGO. Anyways, I don't think anyone here is just going after this water park promo just because because it's been on the market for a little bit of time. But it is exclusive to LEGO City, LEGO Friends, LEGO Dreams, and LEGO Ninjago. And don't get me wrong, with all of the new Ninjago uh, and LEGO City sets that have released, it is probably a nice touch to get a free promo if you are ordering any of those stuff. With that being said, we have two other promos to discuss. The next one is the Lord of the Rings Fell Beast. Now, this is exclusive to the brand new release of the LEGO uh, Lord of the Rings Barander. And don't get me wrong, that is an expensive price point at $460. But truthfully, with this exclusive promo, which for the most part, from what I've been reading online, has already sold out in Australia, or maybe it was Europe, one or the other, it has sold out in other regions. And to me, that is no surprise. We talked about it quite exclusively on this channel. We talked about it pretty heavily, just because we truthfully believe that this was a really good promotional item. It came with its own exclusive box. And anytime LEGO has done this, it's been pretty notorious for these promos to sell out. And I thought this one would be no different. Currently, at the time of recording, early on Saturday morning, uh, on June 1st, it is still available. But truthfully, I don't think it will last, you know, even all day. But if it does, I don't think it's going to run a crazy long time uh, for this promotional period. Regardless, I still think it's going to do very well in the aftermarket sale. And you're probably thinking, well, Crystal, I don't want to sell it. Why are you even talking about that? I always like to, you know, discuss some of the aftermarket sale prices because a lot of people do buy the set day one so they can get the promo and sell it off and help recoup some of the cost for, you know, a $460 Lego set. If that is you, then, you know, truthfully, it's about a $100 discount and it's technically free, right? So if you're planning on getting this later down the road or waiting for double points, which is again, rumored for, you know, a couple weeks away in the early June, is it worth it to wait to buy the Lord of the Rings set for double points? Well, Lord, uh, you know, it's only about 10% in double points, which would be about $46 for a set like this versus getting a free promo right now, which is valued and selling for over $100. That's pretty crazy for a free Lego promotional item. Like we have not seen a single one. These are all sold prices for under $100. So $115 seems like the going rate, and I would say a fair price. There's one for $85. But my gosh, we've seen as high as $160 and as low as $85. That's a crazy, crazy grounds uh, for this promotional item. And again, a free promo. So it, I, for me, when you have an exclusive promo like this, there's no better time to buy that set other than when it comes with that exclusive promo. And I always stand by that, but don't get me wrong, $460 is a high price tag to pay. Uh, but anyways, continuing on forward, that is that promo. And uh, we, we talked about it so much. And if you haven't got it and you're waiting for double points, that's on you. And the next one is a uh, Ninjago promo. This is actually an exclusive promo to the Ninjago Tournament Temple City, which has been released today. It's a $250 Ninjago Temple. And it by all means is pretty glorious. I actually put a full review of this up on our channel. So if you want to learn a lot more about this set and see it before you buy it, make sure to check that video out. Regardless, I was pretty impressed with some of the minifigs, the overall size of it. Um, I, a couple of the things I didn't like was how play scale it was, but regardless, it's still a pretty fantastic set. But if you wanted those two poly bags, which I'm not going to lie, they're all right. They're not too crazy, but, uh, it's a nice little addition to $5 poly bags. If you're going to buy the set anyways on day one, it's a nice little bonus. And of course, you will get the water park promotional on item uh, as well. So it's basically a triple 
promo stock. That's not too bad for buying a Lego set day one. I feel like the incentive is there. Anyways, this poly bag is Kai and Rafton, the Temple Battle. Don't get me wrong, the Temple is pretty meh. It's made up of maybe like 20 pieces, and then you do get Kai and Rafton. And the other promo that is along with it is a poly bag, and this one is Cole and a Wolf Mask Warrior, which I do like these Wolf Mask Warriors. At this point, I probably have an army of them. And you do get a Cole in his uh, Earth Ninja suit. So overall, another cool scene. Uh, basically, maybe my 20 more pieces here for a little battle scene. Regardless, it is a free promo if you're buying that. Anyways, some other interesting items we should talk about since that's all the promos we've gotten for June first at the release is the Captain Rex Y-Wing Micro Fighter. This set is already back ordered and I think that is no surprise. I literally have a copy sitting here. It's it's like right over here. Anyways, if you want to review on that one, it's up on the channel. Uh, it's a lot to talk about. Don't get me wrong. It is the exact same Mamie Fig. It is the exact same Captain Rex from the Ultimate Collector Series Venator. Comes with 999 pieces not 900 99 pieces for 13 bucks basically you're getting a captain rex for 13 dollars who is an exclusive making me figure up from the ultimate collector series venator that released way back in what october of 2023 so it is a nice minifigure in just a cheap set and it's no surprise to me that it's back ordered and probably will be out of stock by the end of today moving on forward we also have the ambush on mandalore this one i feel like is an interesting as well. All of these Star Wars releases, uh, I know we had Tyler from Life Bricks on our live stream last night and he was mentioning and brought to attention that none of these Lego Star Wars sets are going to be in retailer stores until probably August. And it's an interesting topic because the only way you can get this is from the Lego group. So it, for me, I really thought these would sell very well and I still believe that. I feel like these are going to be like sellout sets within the week or so or be, just be difficult to get, uh, especially if you're going in store to Lego stores. I just feel like they're going to be flying off the shelves. Regardless, I think this battle pack was one of the best battle packs we've seen in quite some time. You get two Mandalorians and you get two Imperial Commandos. To go along with that, if you are buying this uh, or in interested in Lego Star Wars, we did have a huge release last night between Brick Love and Stud City. We released this it's pretty epic Mandalorian because there was a new Mandalorian battle pack. I felt like it was right. We've been working on this one since about a month now, since the last release. Um, I knew the battle pack was going to drop here on June 1st. So I said, let's pump out an incredible one of 50 Mandalorians. And here we are. Check it out. I don't think there's any other custom in the game that has butt printing. But we did it. We accomplished it. And he's got the stamp 1 of 50. So if you want to support the channel, if you want to add to your Mandalorian collection, if you're a Lego Star Wars advent collector, this is this is the one. Thank you guys so much for supporting us. Um, these have been an absolute blast. You will get a Stud City Brick Love collab box as well. And it will be stamped number of 50. So do me a favor. If you do get that, tag me in an Instagram post or Discord or whatever. And let me know what number you get. And if you enjoy the numbers, because I'm really interested in that. And I think I got a lot of feedback from you guys and you wanted to see numbers per minifig. And I think it's an interesting take. So there's only a few left on this one. So make sure to support the channel. I will link that in the description below and the comment section if you want to pick up your Stud City Brick Love Mandalorian. And with that being said, that is the release in a nutshell. There was so many Lego sets. I don't want to go through all of them unless you guys want to. And maybe we will. The Lego City theme had so many decent releases like the Lego truck delivery. We had the new icons radio we had simba we had the tuxedo cat we had the notre dame uh the traditional chest like there's just you go down a laundry list of really good lego sets and all of them are still available at this point in time so we don't have to go too far in the weeds about some of this stuff regardless an impressive June 1st release. I was pretty blown away on how many amazing Lego sets that Lego had released for this. And uh, I'm really excited for the upcoming months because Lego's just been on a roll with producing really good sets. So anyways, let me know what you've been buying for June 1st, what you plan to buy, and uh, what you think of overall the release was. And of course, if you're new here on the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button as we're making our journey to 100,000 subscribers and we will be going live for that event as well. And so you don't miss out on future videos. Anyways, love you guys. Hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Happy June 1st to you. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you in the next one. I'm Christo from Stud City. Peace out.